I'm Ava Hurdle. Here at Frank's Truck Stop in Chesapeake, business has fluctuated between moderate and slow in the hours since the nationwide independent trucker strike began at midnight. Truck drivers are protesting a number of things, primarily the high cost and shortages of diesel fuel in the last few weeks. They say that, coupled with the higher maintenance cost and load limitations that vary from state to state are causing them to lose a whole lot of money. Many truckers pulling into Franks today say although there have been reports across the nation about shootings, obstructions of fuel pumps and nails on the road, so far that hasn't happened on Virginia's roadways or in the Tidewater area. On your way down here, did you run into any difficulties on the road? No, I ran Pennsylvania, 81 all the way down. I didn't, the only place where I stopped to get a bite to eat was in uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. You couldn't get no fuel there. Everything was blocked off, but they didn't bother you. You could go up and down the road and nothing was said, you know. Other independents say they've heard numerous stories of possible violence, and one trucker for a frozen food company said he's almost scared for his life. Yeah, sure am. That's why I stayed here last night. I didn't know whether that uh, midnight strike was going to go off or not. So that's why I stayed over here. There's been snipers on the bridges and, and cars running by you yeah, and trying to run you off of the road. That's about, about the main thing of it is. They could smash your truck down, they could replace it, but not us. So far here in Tidewater, the strike has had little or no effect at all. Truckers we talk to say right now things are relatively quiet in Virginia and North Carolina. When asked if there would be blocked fuel pumps or even violence, one trucker we talked to said, I just don't know. Ava Hurdle, Area Tonight, Witness News in Chesapeake.